Okay. They're circling the wagons. They don't want this to get out to the public. Okay. Too, dam too damaging. That is the voice of San Antonio Police Department Captain Timothy Vaughn, the head of internal affairs, admitting in a recorded phone call this May that department command staff was going to cover up an on-duty sex scandal involving a commander and a female officer. Records show that decision was made long before internal affairs investigator Sergeant Jim Jones could even complete the case. Jones retired and has now come forward to our Dylan Collier, providing his investigative file and taped phone calls with his superiors, even while facing the threat of prosecution. It's tonight's Defender's Report. I've had a charmed career. Uh, the city and the department has been good to me. Uh, I'm a disappointed employee. There's no doubt about that. Disgruntled? No. Many members of his former department probably don't agree with how Sergeant Jim Jones ended his 35-year SAPD career, retiring early, contacting a reporter, exposing an on-duty sex investigation involving a captain, and the efforts made by powerful people to keep any of it from seeing the light of day. Jones climbed the blue wall of silence. I don't know how you can espouse truth and trust and transparency with the community one day and then perpetrate a cover-up the next. In April, Jones was told to investigate Captain Alex De La Garza and a female officer. The pair accused of repeatedly meeting for sexual encounters inside a city building while on the clock, rule-breaking the female later admitted to. It was also discovered by Jones that a third officer, Lieutenant Brent Bell, took steps to allow the two officers to communicate even after a no-contact order was given. Sir, will you answer any, any verbal interrogatories or questions regarding this investigation? De La Garza clammed up while questioned by Jones in late May and retired while the case was still fresh. Hours after the interview with De La Garza took place, Jones got a call at home from Internal Affairs Commander Timothy Vaughn. Hey, Jimbo. Sorry to call you so late. Are you no, sir. busy? No, go ahead. Um, they're going to let Alex is going to retire next Friday. Right, yeah. I, I, um, I saw that in the paper. Um, there is one thing that they're trying to, uh, trying to keep this out of the paper. Uh, trying to keep it from being in that. Vaughn said he just left a meeting at police headquarters that included Chief William McManus's chief of staff, Robert Blanton. Okay. They're circling the wagons. They don't want this to get out to the public. Okay. Too, dam too damaging. So we're looking at doing that. I had a long meeting with Bob Flynn and, and everybody tonight, or this evening, or this afternoon. And, uh, so I was over there for several hours. Vaughn's comments directly contradicting his own chief, who last week in a statement told us, quote, keeping it out of the public view was not the basis for my decision. If there's no discipline let it out, and they, they transfer her, and then they put it to bed, they, I, it sounds like they're trying to, to close this down. First, I don't know if, that, if that's a good, a good decision or a good way to go. May 29th, a second internal affairs supervisor, Lieutenant Michael Mosley, expressed dismay over the handling of the case during another call recorded by Jones. They're going to either not issue any discipline to and probably print bill or just WRs so that nobody so that nobody can get a copy of the case of the case they're trying to cover this up there's really no need for the department to do that two months later just as Vaughn said it would the case was closed with no suspensions handed out meaning no public record of it requests for the files from the public or media would be denied. The men and women of SAPD, they go out there every day and every night, and, and they're doing a hard job, but they do it exceptionally well. And they know that if they violate the rules and regs or our policies and procedures, that they can be held accountable, or that they will be held accountable, unless it damages or denigrates the department or tarnishes or humiliates the chief. We've made multiple attempts to talk with Chief McManus about this story and that offer still stands. We are continuing to investigate how far up this went and who was in that May 25th meeting. It should be noted, Vaughn's call to Jones happened hours after we reported the officers involved in SAPD's last sex scandal would not be getting their jobs back. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.